Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm doing another experiment. I was watching Gina DeLuca and uh, somebody else, I think it may have been Julie Cutts, um, today and they were doing just straight paint and flow troll. Uh, much higher flow troll than I would have ever done before, but they weren't using silicon. So I thought, that's something I want to play with. So that's what we're doing. So what have we got? We have got two parts flow troll and one part paint. And I'm using lemon yellow from Reeves, crimson red from Renault Art, cobalt blue from Reeves, and titanium white from Reeves. Um, so I have them all mixed up. I have just mixed directly in a little shot glass and if you can see there I marked on there 10, 20 and 30 mil on the little, it's not that little shot glass actually, it's quite a big shot glass, it's a 45 or one and a half ounce shot glass so that's a good size and so I put up to the 20 mil with flow troll and then poured the tube paint um, which is hard to measure any other way in until the layer line of flow troll hit the 30 mil and that way I knew we'd hit that level so this paint is a lot runnier than I normally paint with um, the yellow I did actually have to add some water to it and it's still a little bit thinner than the others but this is really thin compared to what I normally um, oops, a lump in there. Um, what I normally paint with. So I'm intrigued to see what happens. But they got some really cool results. So let's see what gets created. Um, and they just poured it in. So I'm going to do that too. Um, I think Gina actually did do a little bit more layering, um, so maybe I will do, maybe I'll do that too. But just basically going to pour the whole lot in, probably should have gone for a smaller pot, diameter wise. Uh, Definitely don't want the pink to be created, so I'm going to go blue first, then pink, um, the crimson into, oops, it didn't scrape very well, um, crimson into there and then the yellow into there and let's see what shows up <laughs> I gotta zoom in ghosty figures in the wall in the white <laughs> alright so then what they did was they just poured poured and poured and poured and poured not trying to do little circles like a spiral pour and poured quite quickly as well so let's see I've probably got way too much paint for this tiny little record I do look at this ah no that's cool way too much paint Way, 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 way too much paint, Michelle. That's all right. We'll have runoff. So we've got cells forming over here. Remember, there is absolutely no silicon in this. So anything, any cells that get created are created by the viscosity the heavy and lightness of the paints 
um, worked out what was wrong with this. The flint's gone, so I have to light it with my big one. But then I get the small one. Just going to pop any air bubbles. There's no silicon in here to bring up. But the air bubbles will bring up some colour as well. Now. Which part of this do I want to keep and which part do I want to pour off? Although we've got some cool cells here, you know me, I don't like pink. <laughs> so let's start off by pulling that sideways. And that's an ugly bit at the bottom. What else have we got? And let's take it that way. Get rid of that really zigzaggy. And then I'm going to bring it back down to there. Because I quite like this look. Hmm. I think I like the cut best. <laughs> there you go. Um. So we've definitely got some flow troll cells through here and through here. Nowhere near as defined as what they had. But then I haven't used such a contrasting colour. There was a really darkness in their colours and then the yellow. So I'm going to take some Just tap the edges there just to bring that little bit of colour. I like it. Kind of looks like fire and water combining. How's that look? What do you reckon? A bit of steam coming off as the water comes through the flames, maybe? <laughs> I'm intrigued to see how these colours actually dry like this. Uh, I haven't used these three colours together before. I haven't had any of the cobalt blue in my studio for quite a while. I'm just looking at all that beautiful painted runoff and thinking, I don't like any of it for <laughs> the jewellery. It's, uh, yeah, not me at all. Oh, maybe that bit over there. Let's have a look. Well, maybe there's a swirl or two in this piece down here, so I might grab a cabochon and pick that up. But as we're talking, there's still some cells actually developing, so I'm quite intrigued to see what happens with this. Um, Because it is something that I haven't played with before. I 
and we'll see how it develops over time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that aside and uh, get into that little piece down there. Let's have a look. I'll bring this up to you and show you what's happening. See there's some cells showing up through there. some very cool stuff happening in here actually so I'm quite excited to see how it shows up the bonus of using just flow troll with no silicon is that you'd get um, you wouldn't have to clean all the silicon off later which makes sealing the sealing process a lot easier Anyway, let's zoom you in so you can see the, the bit that I'm talking about. It's got some little spirally swirls in there. And let's move those out of the way so we've got some more light. I'm just pondering the size of it, that's all. Uh, it's definitely not an oval or a big long rectangle probably just a circle to be honest let's have a look so I've got what I've done is I've gone through all my um, pendants pulled them all apart and put each shape into a different bag so that I can just grab what I want when I want it with real ease rather than fiddling around getting them out of the packets and blah 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 if you can hear a motorbike zooming up and down my driveway that is my children and my friend's son He's just bought himself a motorbike. It's only a little tiny thing. He's only nine, so he's the one I've painted the shoes for. Um, all right, just polishing that up and putting a piece of blue tack on as a handle. And going in to make sure I get the bits I want. And, uh, oops. There we go. That's the underside that you'll never see once it gets mounted. But this is super runny, so I need to put it flat. But yes, I got what I wanted. Yay! Pop that over there. And that's it for that. So while we've been away, the record has started to develop a couple more cells. Seems to be the yellow and the red interacting and then floating up. I like those two, those look really funky. They almost look like a fertilized egg yolk. <laughs> Sorry if that turned anyone's stomach. Alright, so I'm going to let that dry and see how it dries for a start off. See if it develops any more cells as it dries. Um, I'm going to try and make sure that it's flat is a very important thing and yeah because I know that when Gina did it she had hundreds of these so I wonder I wonder I wonder what else is possible all right 
I'll be back guys once this is dry and we can analyze it together. <laughs> bye bye. Right. You know me, I can't cope with leftover paint. I poured it out onto the paper and I got what looks like fire and ice wings. <laughs> so I'm going to capture that as well. Uh, I think it needs to go on a big oval. What do you reckon? So that was literally just pouring out what was left in the pot exactly as it was. Um, so let's capture that. And see how that one comes out. Looks funky on the underside too. Huh. Right. There you go. Dump. Okay guys. Thanks for watching and I'll be back once all this is dry. Bye bye. Alright. So it is just dry. Just being the ultimate quick response only just um it's right literally touch dry i've um yeah it's it's got an amazing shine which normally i don't get which i'm quite excited about it's a couple of wavy lines and under there I'm not quite sure what's created those you can see those the way the light's catching that creating like bends there's bends in the paint um but it's definitely not cracked or crazed or anything else traumatically depressing <laughs> um but it's got a really nice shine I really like it and it's held its it's held its cells those big ones that came up are still there which is quite fun and funky and i managed to have it flat enough so it didn't lose any paint off the sides so i'm quite pleased with that quite pleased indeed so that was two parts floatrol one part paint how does it get any better than that it's very cute i'm not sure what else to say about it to be honest it hmm anyway <laughs> I adore you guys I'm so grateful that you watch my videos and um, especially those of you that choose to let the ads at the beginning run for 30 seconds to so that I get some sort of payment and I'm also super grateful for those of you that sponsor me via my PayPal um, so special thanks go out to Karen J um, you know who you are and huge huge great gratitude for that donation um, if you'd like to contribute to my channel continuing with ease and joy and glory um, the PayPal link is in the description below and what else is possible guys how much more fun can we have when we're choosing to be us and change the world I adore you all have fun bye bye